Hello everybody, Brian Tulsa here. What are you doing today? Today I am going to show you how to make smurg. Smurg is a family recipe from the old country. Now I know some of you may not be into ethnic food, but just for today, take a step outside of your dull American McDonald's and Kentucky Fried Chicken world and taste something exotic. To make smurg, you will need two large potatoes diced with salt and pepper. I will be cooking them in Crisco because I want to, and I think it browns the potatoes a bit better. You will need a half a pound of ground beef. You will need not a sponsor brand macaroni and cheese. Now don't get cheap on the macaroni and cheese. Use the good stuff. You should be paying at least $1 for this box of macaroni and cheese. Do not pay less than a dollar for this stuff. And if this brand happens to be on sale for less than a dollar, you wait until the price goes up. Don't go cheap on the mac and cheese. For the mac and cheese, you will need half a stick of butter, a quarter cup of milk, and an additional half cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. I've got the water boiling for the mac and cheese, but the mac and cheese doesn't take very long to cook, so I'll start that last. Uh, the potatoes take longer to brown, so I want to get those started first. So I've got a hot pan here, uh, and I'm going to put the potatoes in and get those started. Okay, the potatoes are going pretty good. Uh, the meat will have to be browned, and that takes uh, a little bit more time than the mac and cheese. So now that the potatoes are started pretty well, I want to start cooking the ground beef. You need to tend to those potatoes frequently. You want them to brown and not burn. You want them crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Okay, the potatoes are not quite done. The ground beef is done, so I need to switch that off. Um, that ground beef is pretty lean, but I'll still need to drain it. Um, and it's about time to start the macaroni and cheese. So by the time the macaroni is, and cheese is done, the potatoes should be a nice golden brown. So let's put the uh, not sponsored brand macaroni in the boiling water that has, uh, is nice and hot. Had it boiling and ready to go. There we go. And uh, now I gotta drain that meat. The macaroni is boiling away. Uh, the meat is drained. The potatoes are almost done. You can see we're starting to get a bit of a brown, uh, golden brown coloring on some of those potatoes. The macaroni still has about five minutes to go. So while that's still going, uh, I'm gonna finish up the potatoes um, and put them on a paper towel and uh, just have them ready when it's time to add them to the mac and cheese. Add a sprinkle of salt and pepper to those potatoes. Um, just to make sure it has a little bit of flavor there. Uh, now, my family has accused me of uh, making up this dish and uh, they have made the unsubstantiated claim that this is not a recipe from any old country um, and this is just uh, some unhealthy food that uh, I like to make sometime and they have accused me of uh, making up the name Smurg uh, inspired by the Swedish chef uh, from the Muppets well, they haven't been able to prove any of that, and neither can you. Smurg became a comfort food for me um, when I was in my early to mid-twenties, when I wanted to have a substantial meal uh, without expensive ingredients. Um, and fortunately, I just happened to have this uh, family recipe from the old country that uh, just fit the bill perfectly. Macaroni is done, heat is off, time to drain it. Following the instructions on not a sponsor macaroni and cheese, hashtag not a sponsor, hashtag sponsor me, hashtag why does craft brands hate ethnic foods? Uh, we are going to put the butter in. Uh, yeah, all that butter. And we are go uh, we're gonna put the milk in, uh, like so. And then we're going to open this, uh, this magical package here. Uh, which has uh, some uh, some cheese flavoring 
in powder form. This is space age stuff. This is this is the miracle of science right here. They even make it like a really bright, obnoxious yellow, just so you know that it's it's real. I mean, it's real, you know. It, uh, it's it's sort of the same color as real cheese. Okay, let's add that beef, and then let's add the potatoes, uh, which have cooled down a little bit now. Uh, there we go. Right in they go. And we're gonna mix that up, stir it, get it well, get it well mixed. Yes. Yes, we are smirgifying it right now. And then finally add the shredded sharp cheddar cheese and mix that in to make it uh, all gooey and delicious. Yeah, just mix that right in there. Because that, that uh, yellow cheese powder, that's not enough cheese for us. That's not enough cheese for us. We're making smurg. We need more cheese. There it is, smurg. Smurg is traditionally served in a chipped bowl with a plastic fork. You can attempt to make this exotic dish for yourself. It's really quite simple. I will not claim cultural appropriation if you want to give it a try. You may be thinking to yourself, uh, this recipe could be tweaked a little bit. You could put your own spin on smurg. Perhaps you would like to use a different type of macaroni. Perhaps you'd like to use a different type of cheese. Maybe you'd like to have more meat in the dish or maybe less. Now maybe you think adding potatoes to macaroni is just too much starch for one dish. If you have any wild ideas about modifying this recipe to suit your own tastes, I'll remind you of something my father used to say to me. You can't change smurg. If you change smurg, then it's not smurg. You want to just do it your own way? You want to make up your own rules? Do you want total anarchy? Do you want lawlessness? Do you want murder and rape in the streets? Dogs and cats living together? You make Smurg the right way. In fact, you're no son of mine. You're no son. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Ah!